integrate 1 over 1 plus x minus x squared dx. Okay. Now here, I want to make this minus x squared a plus x squared. So I'm multiplying both the numerator and denominator with negative 1. So the next step would look like this. So plus 1 would become minus 1. And this denominator's sign would change. So minus x squared became plus x squared. Plus x became minus x. Plus 1 has become minus 1. Okay. Now I'm going to make a perfect square by looking at this too. Okay. Now the coefficient of x is negative 1. So to make a perfect square by completing the square, we take the half of negative 1, which is negative half, and then square it, which is 1 quarter. And then you're adding 1 quarter and you're taking away 1 quarter. So this becomes a perfect square of x minus half the whole squared. Now this 1 I have written as 4 quarters. So negative quarter take away 4 quarters, which is 5 quarters. So now I'm going to write this as difference of two squares which is this as a perfect square is root 2 root 5 over 2 the whole squared. Now doing difference of two squares it is this form which is very obvious. Okay now the next step okay is simple simplification. You are multiplying uh, this by 2 so this has also become 2. So this is 2 over 2x so this is nothing but 2x plus I rearrange this a little so root 2x plus root 5 minus 1 uh, 2x minus root 5 minus 1 and this this is uh, 2 this is divide this this is a one half you can factor out one half here and factor out one half so you're dividing or the denominator is divided by one half that means you're multiplying by four okay so this four that's how you got this four uh, because this four in the denominators denominator will go to the numerator I, and i've factored that out okay the next step is interesting uh the next step i should have written i made a mistake here not mistake i forgot to write so here instead from this form if i want to write this as two fractions what I've done is this, this is 1 over this denominator minus 1 over this. So I should write here minus 1 over 2 root 5. I forgot it this step. Because see if you, if you, uh, let me show you that step. So if the numerator, I will try to squeeze here. The numerator, when you cross multiply or multiply this with this uh, denominator this becomes the numerator would become 2x uh, minus root 5 minus 1 and then you got a minus here so you got minus 2x minus root 5 plus 1 I hope you can see that so this and this gets cancelled this and this gets cancelled so the numerator becomes minus 2 root 5. Now to cancel that minus 2 root 5 in the numerator, I have multiplied by negative 1 over 2 root 5 because the numerator is 1. Now to get the numerator, this has to be multiplied by 1 over or minus 1 over 2 root 5. And that will give you 1. So I hope you can see that that's why I multiplied by negative 1 over 2 root 5. So uh, this and this are uh, the same. Okay. So this 2 goes in. So negative and negative becomes positive. And this 2 goes in for 2 times. So this is 2 over root 5. And this is nothing but when integrating 1 over 2x plus root 5 minus 1 is natural log of this. And here the coefficient of x is 2 so you have to multiply by one half okay so this is nothing but the uh, converse chain rule if it was differentiation you would have multiplied by 2 and in integration you do the opposite of this 
I've explained why you multiply by half in uh, my previous videos. So I hope you can understand. Okay. Or you think like this, if you if you differentiate this, you should you should get this back. So if you're differentiating this, uh, differentiating the inside, you'll have you should you would have multiplied by two. So to counter that, or the as its integration, you do one over two. Oops. So yeah. Uh, where am I? Okay. So let us go back. Uh, so mm, we were at this stage. Okay. Okay. So we almost there. So this is what we did. Okay, so I hope you understand. So this one half I can factor out, and that's what I factored out. Okay, so this two and this two gets cancelled, and uh, this is using the uh, log rules. This is this natural log of modulus of this divided by this. Okay, and this is the final answer.